digital immortality is something that is actually achievable within a few decades. Silicon Valley is already offering to digitize everything known about you to give an image, an artificial intelligent image of who you are. One day it'll be so perfect that it'll be almost indistinguishable from the real person. I would, for example, love to talk to Einstein. One day, pretty soon, somebody will digitize everything known about the person, his thoughts, his theories, his videotapes, and put a holographic image and make it available commercially. And I think one day we will become immortal. We will live forever. So I think one possibility is digital immortality when we have a library of souls, a whole library of people that have passed away but have left a digital legacy for us to marvel at. Well, you know, when I was a child learning world history, we learned a concept called the sick man of Asia. The sick man of Asia were the Chinese and Indian masses millions and millions upon them that were at near starvation levels. Well, today we don't talk about that anymore. We talk about China and India being potential superpowers. What happened? What happened was that these peasants gradually became educated and being educated, they could create value. They could create hardware, machines, factories, goods and services because they were educated. And that's the power of the mind. If you can educate people, instead of becoming a drain on society, they become an asset to society. When you talk about education, I personally believe that uh, our educational system does a pretty good job, pretty good job of training young people to live and flourish in the year 1950. Now, the only problem is we don't live in 1950 anymore, but our educational system is well suited to live in that world which no longer exists. And so that's why I think that we should teach the curriculum for, for school children in a way that brings them up to the future. The future belongs to the educated, the creative, the imaginative. These are the people that are going to change history rather than simply repeat history of the past. The future does not wait for anybody. The future only waits for those people who are imaginative, creative, and innovative enough to grab it and run with it. Where do you think, um, what industries will be on you know, the list of the top revenue companies, the top value companies in let's say 2040? When you take a look at the industries of the past, they were mainly based on oil and coal and fossil fuels. However, the fuel for the future is gonna be data. Data will be the fuel for the future. And the companies that dominate the future will be those companies that I call leaders of perfect capitalism. Now, let me explain. Capitalism is a system whereby prices are set by supply and demand and there's private ownership. That's it. That's called capitalism. But capitalism is, is imperfect. You don't know who's cheating you. You don't know what prices really are. You don't know who's deceiving you in the marketplace. Prices fluctuate. And that's where computers come into the picture. Computers can give us a more accurate assessment of what prices really are in real time. So we can see the bottlenecks. We can see the choke points. We can see the friction of capitalism. For example, why is Amazon one of the biggest companies on the planet Earth? Because they digitize the middlemen. They digitize a source of friction in capitalism. And so that's one way in which value is generated by, increase, by decreasing the friction, by decreasing the choke points, the bottlenecks, the dead end, the speed bumps in supply and demand. And those companies of the future, those companies of the future which will dominate things are the companies that can streamline the middlemen, streamline the waste, the inefficiencies, the redundancy of the marketplace, and they're the ones who are going to survive into the future. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment.